Hi guys and this is Ram. Welcome back to another video review. This time it's for the official S7 Edge and S7 Fast Wireless Charger, the Samsung QI Quick Charging Station. Um, I got this today. Um, it cost me around £50 on Amazon. Is it a bargain at that price? I'll let you know later on. Um, it's a lot of people are after this. You can get it in white and you can get it in black. I prefer black. It's a personal choice. Um, I'll show you the packaging it comes in. Again, for the UK market, it's really cheap, horrible, cheap, plasticky rubbish. I don't know why. Um, all that comes in the box is literally the charger and the quick start guide. That's it. There's no cables, no power brick, nothing. I mean, it states it there anyway. Um, just as some diagrams there showing you, you can charge the phone in portrait, in landscape, but it, not off center, if that makes sense. I'll show you what I mean anyway. Um, and obviously, not to have the wire charging cable plugged into the phone while you're doing it. Now, I'll get rid of that for a minute. Let's show you the charger quickly. Now, I'll go give a quick tour around this. That's a rubber ring that keeps the phone nice and sturdy. The plinth here that the phone sits on, that's got a rubber texture to it. It's quite hard, but it's got a rubber finish. Obviously your fast charge is written there, Samsung logo there. The, the charging coil is in this area of the actual charger. This is all glossy, shiny plastic, the rest of it. There's the charging LED light. This is the base of it, which has got a rubber backing on it. So your grip on the table, I'll show you that. Look at that, it's really, I can't push that very easily. Let's wipe some of that dirt off. Obviously the generic sticker that Samsung put on their devices. Here at the back you've got the Samsung logo embossed this time. And the, this is a vent for the cooling fan uh, that's built into this charger and I'll talk about that later. Uh, so it gives you guys an idea of you know how loud it is and so on. Um, this looks a lot like last year's model to me. In fact, it looks identical. The only thing they've done is taken last year's model and mated it with the desk stand here. Now, my issue with this is I don't think this is much different to the last year's model in terms of performance and so on. Um, I'd go even further to say it, it, it looks like last year's model that was left over in the factory and they've decided to make this with it. They probably asked a focus group or something, uh, the way Samsung operate. Now and then they've asked a lot of Apple fanboys. Um, I don't know, it's just strange. Um, last year's charger, you can pick it up for about £15, that's one five off Amazon. Uh, whereas this is around £50. Is it worth the extra? I don't think the performance is going to be any better. But let me show you. Let me put the phone on here in portrait mode so you guys can see it. Yeah, fast charging wirelessly, 78%. So, you know, that's just to give you an idea of, of what it's like there. Let's take it off and put it in landscape mode. And there you go, it's charging in landscape mode. Let's switch the screen off and switch it on again. There you go, fast charging wirelessly, 78%, approximately 40 minutes remaining. There's the little blue LED light when it's charging. Um, this turns green when the phone's fully charged. That is a bit of an annoyance. Because <laughs> these are both Samsung products, they should have disabled that when it makes contact with this charger so you just get the blue light because that can be quite annoying to have the red and the blue light that's just me being fussy you know what I'm like 
I pick at every little thing, but at the end of the day, if you guys are going to spend £50 on this, you need someone who's just going to tell you the truth. I've spent my own money on this. I haven't been sent this. You know, 50 quid is a lot of money for a lot of people, so let's not downplay it. End of the day, I have to be honest with my, with my subscribers and anyone who views this. Let's go through some facts about this. Um, the input. Now, Samsung say you should use a Samsung approved charger. And at the end of the day, they would say that. Um, they've said charges which are 5 volts at 2 amps, 5.3 volts at 2 amps, or 9 volts at 1.67 amps. I haven't bothered, you know, looking at the amperage and voltage of my charger. I know I've got a quick charge to a power brick with the, from Anchor with the cable plugged in. I know a lot of people are going to say it's not true wireless, it's got a wire, you know, trailing into that. Yes, we know that. At the end of the day, we get that. But all you've got to understand is, is so you don't have to plug it directly in the phone. My other half, she says the same sort of thing. It's, she finds it silly that it's not really, it's not really wireless charging. But believe me, on my bedside at night, when I come up to bed and my wife's asleep, and I put this phone on the, on the charging cradle, I don't have to on any lights, I don't have to put on the screen, nothing. I can just put it straight in the dark, because I know where it's sitting, bang, on there like that. And I'm done. I know fiddling around trying to plug the USB charger into the phone, nothing. Plus, this looks nicer on a, on a desk. If you, you know, if you've got a nice desk at work or at home or you know whatever or at college, it, it's nice for that. You know, and it, plus it keeps the phone upright, so you can clearly see what's going on. I, today, and I've been using it. Literally, if I've got a notification, I just literally press that, and I can see it. You know, clearly what's going on. As you can see here, it says. Sorry, bear with me, guys. Quick, bring that back up. It's 80%, it'll take approximately 38 minutes until fully charged. Now earlier, what I noticed with this, it had 25% left to charge, and there was a glitch in my power brick, the cable wasn't plugged in properly, so I thought it wasn't normally charging. Now what this did, it said it was at 75%, it will take 55 minutes to fully charge. Pull the wire out of the power brick, put it back in, so it detected that it was fast charging. Then it said it would only take 44 minutes to charge that extra 25%. So I know this is incorrect, it's exponential, but over a 100% charge, you're looking at saving around, I'd say between 40 and 50 minutes, which is quite substantial in my opinion. Um, I also got it to charge from 48% to 70% in half an hour which is not bad at all. I mean, Samsung claim it charges at 1.5, 1.4 times faster than normal wireless chargers, and it can charge your device in two hours. Well, they're probably just saying that because it's, because it, it will charge, say, an S7 in two hours. But it's also compatible with the S7, the S7 Edge, the Note 5, and last year's S6 Edge Plus. So they've taken that figure, I, I assume, from the phone with the smallest battery. Will it charge this in two hours? I don't think so. This is a big, big battery, and I've had a Moto X Force, or Droid Turbo 2, with a big battery and a very fast charger. And, and that's a wired charger, and that charge is extremely fast. I don't know how much truth there is in there. I'll have to test it out for you guys. I'll have to run the battery down to zero, then charge it to 100, and, you know, give you my feedback. I mean, these figures are with... I've only just put airplane mode on now for the video, but these figures are with my Bluetooth on, Wi-Fi on, mobile data switched on, everything, um, while it's been charging on there. So, you know, it's, it varies. Also with this, it's got a built-in um, charging protection, which shuts off automatically when it's fully charged, so it protects the battery and pro prolongs the life of it over a, you know, 
a, a 12 month or 20 uh, 24 month period uh, now the fan inside this comes on when you've got the fast charging option switched on in the actual phone itself I can just hear the fan now I'm going to bring it up to the, to the camera I'm going to be quiet see if you can hear that I don't know if you guys can hear that, it's like a whisper, you can virtually, you virtually can't hear it. I mean, there's where the USB cable goes into, it's just straightforward really. Um, but it's whisper quiet, you, you're you not going to really hear that, to be honest. Um, I'll try it tonight in bed and see if I can hear it, you know, when it's complete silence. But it's good that it's got the, the charging protection built in, you know, it gives you peace of mind. Again, I'm going to have to see if when I wake up, will the phone still be at 100%. I will make another update video on this um, in the next couple of days once I've tested this out fully. Um, to give you guys some ideas of that. Now, would I recommend this? As I call it, flash for cash. Yes, if money is no object, you're not fast. Why not? I like it, I'm not going to send mine back, but in all good consciousness, I cannot say to people, go and buy this this fast charger for £50 or 50 bucks or whatever it is, because that's your money, only you can make that decision, how badly do you want this, I love it, personally I really love it, I think it's a nice piece of workmanship, it looks nice, it's attractive, it looks smart on my desk, next to my computer, you know, I love it all day long. I wouldn't... I'm not going to send mine back. So I'll put it on that. I give it a thumbs up on this. Any questions you guys have on this, you know, give, give me a shout out in the comments below. Let me know. As I said, I'll do an update video detailing what i found with this charger so far. You know, in terms of how well it's performed. Um, does it switch off? You know when it's when the when the battery's full, will it be a hundred percent when I wake up? Time will tell. Um, another thing I've got to mention: I've got a thick case on my phone. This is the Tough Armor by Spigen. I've got a lot of cases. If you've subscribed to my channel for this phone, you'll have seen a lot of the reviews I've done. I've got loads more coming up. And even with the case on, it charges no issue at all. So let's switch that off. Switch it on fast charging wirelessly I'll quickly show you something here actually while you guys are looking let's go into battery I'll show you the option here there's the option there fast cable charging and fast wireless charging you have to have that switched on if you don't it won't fast charge I'll show you now I'll try and do it as quick as I can this video has taken a lot longer than I thought The fan has just gone off. And I could hear it just switch off. Now it's charging 83%, approximately 38 minutes until fully charged, right? Remember that figure. So let's switch that back on. Let's take it off there first. Now let's put it back on. Fast wireless charging is now enabled and 33 minutes until fully charged where it was 38 minutes before when it was slow charging. Let's do that quickly again one more time. Let's wait for that to pop up so it gives you guys an idea. 30, so yeah, so it was 38 minutes before one normal charge on fast charging, fast charging enabled, wait for it to come up with the stats, 33 minutes, so you're looking at what, 5 minutes, something like that, roughly, obviously it'll slow down the, the higher the percentage is, or goes, 
But anyway, works fine with any case. I haven't had any issues with any cases so far. If I do have, I'll let you guys know. I recommend this. I love it. It's up to you if you think it's worth the money. So I'll leave that decision to you guys. I can't, you know, it's your money at the end of the day. You have to decide, you know, if it's worth it for you. But take care for now. If you like the video, subscribe down below. I've got loads more videos coming up of reviews and stuff. Hit that like button if you like the video. I apologise it dragged on longer than I thought it would, but I like to be thorough. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. I don't mind. I'm genuine. As I said, I don't make any money from this. This is purely a hobby for me. I know my home screen looks messy, but that's part of the charm of Android. But take care, and bye for now, guys. Bye for now.